So the ESMO biomarkers uh, fact sheets are um, short documents, synopses if you like, of uh, a particular focused subject focusing on a biomarker, uh, describing its biology, the rationale for testing it, the background in terms of the therapeutic importance of that biomarker, uh, some short information about how the biomarker uh, should or could be tested, and how the biomarker data should be interpreted by an oncologist who wants to make a treatment decision based on it. I think that the biomarker sheets um, should be valuable. The availability of, of information in a condensed form, in a, in a single stop where you can get all the background and so on, should be a very valuable resource. So um, we would like to think in ESMO that these uh, biomarker sheets um, are, are, of, uh, are of value and would be important to help oncologists understand this very complicated world. I think that the way that these fact sheets might help oncologists is that the biomarker world in cancer and in, in my particular area of lung cancer in particular is changing so quickly that it's very difficult for many oncologists unless those who are totally immersed and are super specialised in an area to keep up with uh, current trends and also to understand some of the issues around this relatively new issue of biomarker testing which many of them are having to embrace. Sometimes the, the pathological uh, aspects of a biomarker test are not really things that oncologists have a, a great deal of experience of and sometimes there are peculiarities of a particular test or a particular biomarker that may not be immediately or very well known. So, it's really about providing information to help busy oncologists understand an increasingly complex situation. I think given the pace of change that we see in oncology in virtually all tumour sites, uh, because we tend to operate in very specific areas, the pace of change is such that these fact sheets will require um, frighteningly frequent updating and an expanding number of these uh, fact sheets are going to be required as more and more biomarkers with associated um, drugs come along, become available and people need to understand how to use them and how to use the biomarkers. I think pathologists also have a stake in this because they are increasingly asked to do a lot more work with biomarker tests and many pathologists have not really taken an interest or had to take an interest in what happens in the oncology clinic. But as we move towards an increasingly multidisciplinary way of working, I think it's a two-way street. The oncologist has to learn more about what the pathologist does, but I also believe the pathologist has to learn much more about what the oncologist is doing and the data behind what the oncologist is doing. And for that reason, an information resource like the fact sheets should be very valuable also to pathologists. So I have been perhaps lucky enough to be, to be asked to, uh, to write one or two of the biomarker uh, fact sheets for, uh, for lung cancer. And I think that in order to provide the information that, that is required, you, you need to know who your audience is. And the, the main assumption is that you're, you're, you're trying to speak to inform a wide range of, of oncologists not the guys who are necessarily the thought leaders who know all the information already, but you're writing something to try and provide good information in, in, a, in an understandable form, but succinctly in a, in, a, in a document or a product that is not going to take hours to read and digest. Um, you then have to think about providing the data in a logical way. That way it's easier to sell 
the concept of doing the biomarker test.